Great Debut Campers. This is going to be one of our best bits ever in our section today. Captain Hafey is going to take us through Medic 51. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, we'll start around. We'll look inside the back door where she was at. This is our place where we place a person when we go to the hospital. Our little cot here comes out. We can carry it into the house. And then when we get them into the truck, we can do all kinds of different things with them. We have a cardiac monitor to look at their heart. We have bandages, so if they're hurt, we can bandage them up. And then when we get to the hospital, we can take our cart back out and take them all the way into the hospital, into a bed, right there in the hospital. And then uh, we, we have all kinds of medications. We have different uh, types of things in the cabinets, but we also have uh, stuff on the outside of the truck that we go in the house with. And that's what we're going to talk about next. All right, let's see some of those safety lockers full of important equipment, Captain Hafey. Back here, if we have somebody that's been in an auto accident, we have backboards that we can put somebody on. And then we have bags that have special collars that go on people if their neck hurts when they've been in a car accident. So we put a collar on them. What then, does the backboard do, Captain Hafey? The backboard keeps it if they've had a back injury it keeps their back straight so that it doesn't cause any more injury as we're going to the hospital so okay and then in here you see we have several different bags each one is for a special purpose okay there's one that's actually for nothing but children it's called a pediatric bag then we have an airway bag a medicine bag and a trauma bag and then we actually, since now we have, unfortunately, people that are shooting at us, we actually have vest and ballistic helmets in here. Uh, so if we have to go in with the police officers in this dangerous situation, we have equipment for that. Well, I'm certainly glad you can protect yourselves in all kinds of situations. Yep. And just like in a fire truck, this is where the firefighters sit. They have uh, the in-charge medic sits in this seat. The driver sits over there. And you see the little bag up front. That's called the in-bag. So they take that in first in most cases. Okay. And then in our front seat, we have uh, a computer because all of our runs pop up on the computer screen to tell us what the address is. And if we need to, we can even push a button and it shows us on a map where exactly it is we need to go. But it also gives us information. Is this a heart attack run? Is this somebody just sick? Is it some? Is it a, a auto accident? It tells us lot, lots of information before we ever come out of the firehouse. We can have lots of that information. Okay. Then the other side is the driver's side. And of course, the driver's side is just like almost like mom and dad's car, but it's a truck, and it's just it's, it's where the driver uh, takes takes control of the truck either. And you have to see, remember, we drive sometimes really fast to get to the scene with our lights and siren on, but he also sometimes has to run the radio, but he also has to know where he's going on the emergency. So our drivers are pretty well versed on the Grandview, Marble Cliff, and a lot of city of Columbus around us. And I see some more safety lockers and equipment lockers, yeah, Captain we, we have We have all kinds of uh, safety equipment back here. We have a large incident. We have a, a green bag here that has, has vests in it so that if somebody is in charge of uh, patient care, if there's somebody else that's in charge of the accident itself, if there's uh, other types of things, we've got several vests there. We have our own fire extinguisher in case we come upon a fire or if our trucks would catch on fire by accident. Then we have a lot of cleaning supplies. Nowadays we know that cleaning is very important, so we make sure that we have hand wipes, and then we have extra gloves, and then we have squirt bottles of equipment or of, of disinfectant to clean our truck with. And then we have a special, other special equipment too for that. And then we have a, a large box in here that just has a variation of, of different uh, situational type of equipment in it. Uh, most of it's not very fun. Um, in here we have a few tools so that we, we're not a rescue, but we can pry doors open and, and things like that. Uh, just in case a car accident, we can actually pry the doors open sometimes with just a hand tool instead of having to wait for the jaws of life. Um, so we have that, that type of stuff. And then in the very back, we have something called a stair chair. And that's so if we have to go up steps in somebody's house. This has a motor on it and we could actually 
bring somebody up out of the basement or we can take somebody down out of the second floor and we can have an assistance of the, the motor to help us go up and down the steps. It makes our job easier. Then we can take them out to where the cot's at, put them on the cot, then put them in the back of the truck. And then we have these little, these are bags that have little mattresses in it so that if we need to, if we can't get a backboard or somebody's like older and we don't want to put them on a hard backboard, we can put them on like a little air mattress and it kind of gives them a gentle squeeze and puts them in the same type of thing like a backboard so it but it squeezes them holds them in place so that they don't slide around and they don't move and get hurt anymore so we have that for both adults and we also have it for small children also so wow that's our, that's our medic unit you guys are prepared for everything Just so about. don't worry boys and girls no matter what happens our grandview ems and first responders are prepared for everything. All right, thank you.